in our neighborhood in Midtown, um, all it takes is one or two kids and a hockey net to be on the street, and before you know it, people are coming out of their houses. So for us, it's really about building community just by a few hockey sticks and a few nets. And for us, it's been a really fun part of getting to know our neighbors. Well, I think the best thing about road, road hockey for me is to play with my kids. We started when they were just little and we'd come out here and I found I could go easy on them and uh, still, still succeed. And now that they're all big, it's kind of hard to beat them. So anytime I can uh, get out and be on my feet and score a goal against these guys, I'm happy about it. We couldn't turn down a 10 degree day in February, so drag the kids out, get an excuse, get some exercise and running around. You like this game? Yeah. Kids love the game, so I went out and grabbed myself a stick today and came out to decide to play. I'm from England originally, and uh, when I was growing up, it was all about the soccer. So Canada has its own traditions, and uh, hockey being the biggest one, I guess I'm glad to see that it's carried on here. I guess soccer can't take first place wherever it goes. I played floor hockey as a kid, but this, and since then I uh, haven't played until these guys started coming of age. And they got their first six last year, so we've been playing since. You can pick your favorite player in the world and you can like, be it. I'm a goalie and my favorite player is Carey Price. Uh, well, I grew up in, um, out west and, and uh, I remember playing road hockey in, in Red Deer, Alberta. And we're talking 40 degrees below zero, but we still get out there every night. We play till dark, we play in the dark. Um, we would just uh, just be out there for hours. And, and um, I remember, um, you know, pretending I'm Guy Lafleur or, or whoever else for the Montreal Canadiens, because at the time they were the, they were the team. As I said, it was the, the jersey, first jersey I'd ever had. I won many a Stanley Cup wearing this jersey out on the street in Country Hills. So after uh, multiple failed attempts when I was younger, it kind of went away in the closet. And um, a couple years ago, I was at a conference in Toronto and he happened to be in the same area. And so I kind of tracked him down and, uh, and got him to uh, sign it for me. So it's been around a long time and it's now sits in a frame in my uh, house. Well, I got it done uh, like two months ago for our playoffs. This used to be a Ranger logo and then this was just uh, red and blue down the middle. Uh, we're in the finals against Waterloo. So if we just win two more games, and then we play Toronto teams and stuff. I just like getting outside and out of the house for a while, playing with my friends. It's fun at home, I use roller blades. Sometimes I use my feet. Uh, I've been playing, I think, since I was four. Now I'm eight. The best move would probably be a um, toe drag. Unfortunately, I don't have any moves. Well, once so I was like right behind the net, I backhanded it and then it went right in top shelf, the closest one. Best time playing road hockey was probably at the community center just up there. I scored one goal. It was, it was fun. When I was like three or four probably, I used to play outside on the street with my older brother and his friends and stuff. You know, I've been playing road hockey for quite a bit. I started when I was really little, probably five maybe. Probably my favorite like moment was when I was pretty little. I was uh, probably seven and I scored uh, my first like goal, it was not first goal, but it was like a bar down. So it hits off the crossbar and then it goes down and scores. Woo! What's your favorite thing about it? Um, I don't know. I guess with the people and just hanging out with people and stuff like that. I guess just like normal hockey, like on ice, is kind of sometimes there's a lot of pressure. And then road hockey is just for fun, like, always just for fun. Just play with your friends and doesn't really matter if you don't do a bad move, you don't make a play, you just laugh about it and it's funny. Yeah. I think uh, one of the best moments I had for real hockey was one time on my birthday a while back, probably I think my 13th. So it was good, it was good, a, while, a little while back, but all my friends came over and we had like a big game, it was like a tournament and stuff and it was really fun. We all had a really good time. 
Yeah, we played for like three hours straight. It was, it was really awesome. There's always like somebody who gets hurt. So there's usually either like somebody who gets hit in the eye with the ball, because that's usually one of the main hazards. And there's always cars that come. And as you can hear, my dad was just yelling car. It, it was last year, it was in the summer sometime. I was playing road hockey and someone punched me. I fell down. I, I, I think I still have it. It's on my arm right there. It, it, except it, it was it was really a long time ago, but I still have it a little bit. And I, I got very angry at them for doing that. I, I went back inside, had some, had some water. Went it well. Uh, I just sat on the couch and I had a little rest and then the day was over. Yeah, yeah, it's my first time. It's pretty fun. I haven't done any goals yet though. I've mostly blocked the net and stuff. It's pretty fun because just like you get like really excited while you're doing it because like everybody's just like trying to get around you and stuff. So you really just want to beat through them and just get through them and get a goal. But sometimes it doesn't happen and you get really frustrated. It's a little bit hard, scary when there's just like really big people in front of you and then you're like, Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna get able to beat this guy. But it, like, if you're small to a big guy, you can probably just like fit under and get under and like get a goal under them when they don't even notice. So it's pretty good when you're small. Well, I grew up in Thunder Bay and uh, my brother and all his buddies used to go out and play hockey and I couldn't not be out there. So I would be out there with the boys. We played probably most of the morning and then we'd be in for lunch and then we'd be back out in the afternoon playing. But we still all get together time to time. So I married the boy across the street, yes I did. Uh, he was the boy that played across the street with his little brother and I went out with my brother and then, yes, many years later, we are now married and have our own two boys. Yeah, and they're playing here today. Okay, I'm recording. So Josh, tell me a little bit about road hockey. So have you been playing a long time? Oh uh, yeah. How long? I don't know. You don't know. So you like playing road hockey? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me what you like about it. Um. So yeah, and so uh, when you're when you're out there playing road hockey. Yeah. Do you have like a special move that you do? What is your what do, what do people know that Josh is gonna try and do when he's out there? No. No, you know? You just you just some guys uh, uh, Noel was telling me about some sometimes he's playing road hockey when he really, really had a lot of fun. Okay, so may I he was talking about scoring goals and stuff like that. But do you have do you remember a time when you were playing road hockey and you thought, wow, that's so cool. Um, no. Yeah, you're making, you're making a tip on <laughs> uh, Okay, so, hmm, and uh, so well, what happens if you play on the street or in the driveway? Um, both. Both, yeah, what happens if you're a one-word guy, I, yeah, okay. Well, um, well, um, I guess, I guess we, we, this interview's come to an end. Okay.